There's a story end here. Satyavar Chaturvedi of the Congress Party is with us. I'm again saying we don't have a BJP person with us tonight. Satyavar Chaturvedi, welcome. Vinod Mehta, welcome. Mr. Chaturvedi, to you first. Does the matter end here in your view or do you think the Prime Minister will face more fire on Monday? Well, the Prime Minister has already said that he will come to the House and make a statement with regard to this uh, development. So, uh, Prime Minister uh, will make a statement and thereafter, uh, accordance with the rules of the House, I mean, uh, some certain queries could be made. But when it comes to uh, this whole issue, I mean, the Prime Minister, what else do you expect of a Prime Minister? Under these circumstances, he has shown his respect, expressed his respect to the verdict of the court. And beyond that, he has gone to the extent of accepting the responsibility as well. I mean, now, as a supreme executive of this country, but certain decisions are made. And this is not the first time that such decisions are made which ultimately prove to be wrong. I mean, earlier also such decisions have been made. Now, what do you do? The question is not the action which is more important. What is it? more important is the intent behind the action. I don't think anybody in this country will ever doubt the intent of the Prime Minister. Keeping in view entire career of this uh, old man, a thorough gentleman and a man honest to the core of his heart. Now this gentleman is now being questioned as to why this has happened. Yes, he said, we made mistake. We accept the responsibility. Now, in the same vein, if I ask my BJP friends that in the case of IC814 hijack, your government took a decision to, to release those terrorists, which ultimately caused not only attack on the parliament, but also attack elsewhere in the country in several other places, killing hundreds of people. Now, do you think it would be proper for us? I mean, with the best of intent, decisions mm -hmm. are made, but at a later stage when you discover that th these decisions haven't proven to be correct, okay. I mean, all you can do is correct yourself and not <coughs> to make a similar mistake in future no, I'm only and I'm make a mid-course correction as far as possible. I, I'm and that is what the Prime Minister so is. I'm only looking at it from a very narrow perspective of what happens from here. And Mr. Vinod Mehta, I can't find, make out really. Because Sushma Swaraj sends out a tweet, matter ends here. She tweets that, you know, let's move on. But Arun Jaitley continues to ask the questions and says this is not a complete answer. He's continuing to press for more. Which voice is the voice of the BJP yeah. tonight? Arnab, the first thing to be said is that the Prime Minister's statement in Jammu is to be welcomed. It, it now appears that when the Prime Minister makes a statement in Parliament, there will be no fudging. He will accept full responsibility and he will accept the fact that he has made a mistake. That's one point. <coughs> the second thing I find very interesting is that there seems to be a distinct lack of enthusiasm in the BJP in pursuing this question of resignation of the Prime Minister. Sushma Swaraj has already said, let the matter rest. And Mr. Arun Jaitley's body language when he asked for more explanations didn't have the fire that he usually has when he's demanding resignation. So the BJP tactically might feel it's more useful for them to have a prime minister for the next three years who is, if I can use the word, tainted and be able to put more pressure on him. But you may find that this issue will, will uh, not be pursued. And you know, Arnab, you are asking for the resignation of the Prime Minister of India. It's not a small matter. Whatever it is, whatever mistake he's made, we must also remember that. But the BJP doesn't seem to be interested in pursuing or pressing the Prime Minister to resign. And that is a slightly mysterious thing for me. I also find it interesting that uh, the BJP is not enthusiastically participating in this debate tonight. Now, I find that extremely revealing. You know, maybe, maybe they think, Mr. Chaturvedi, actually you are the wrong person. Maybe they think that uh, targeting the Prime Minister is not going to work for them politically. 
Or maybe they feel, as Mr. Vinod Mehta says, you need to keep chipping away at the government instead of trying to target the Prime Minister or talk about the Prime Minister's resignation, which may boomerang. Well, are you asking me this yes, question? Yes, yes, I am actually. Ah, well, I mean, the Prime Minister uh, will come to the House and explain all this. And he will make a statement, as I, as I earlier said. But when it comes to BJP, BJP is at the moment not in coherence with themselves. They have divisions within themselves. <coughs> now, that is their internal problem, which I may not comment upon and I would not like to comment upon. But the fact of the matter is that there is no substance beyond this point for BJP to pursue this matter further. Mm. And that is where the, the, the division within the BJP lies. It's very interesting, isn't it, Mr. Mehta? You know, what, what was seen to be yesterday as a difficult moment, some said Nixon moment for the Prime Minister, today, 24 hours later, it appears that the disjointed attack from the BJP is telling us another story. It's incredible. I mean, the, as, as yeah, a political observer, yeah, I don't know I, if you I, can compare it to something like this ever, ever happening yeah, in the past. I can, well, it's clear that the heat has gone out of the debate in 24 hours. Yes, absolutely. And while they wish to embarrass the Prime Minister, while they wish to embarrass the Congress Party, while they might wa BJP might want to rope Sonia Gandhi in, I don't think that whatever reasons, I mean, you must ask the BJP that what are the <coughs> tactics behind this? Why have they suddenly decided that it is not worth their while pursuing the Prime Minister? Because 24 hours ago, when the Supreme Court announced the quashing of the judgment, the BJP felt that this was going to be the final blow and that they were going to get the Prime Minister. And 24 hours, they seemed to have changed their mind. And I would like to second guess why they've done it. It's so you must ask them. Yes. But for the, for the general, for the country, I think it's not a bad idea that this crisis should stop. No, it's very, it's it's fascinating. I mean, I really there's there's nothing more to say really apart from the fact, uh, Mr. Chaturvedi, that yesterday they said Congress has scored a self goal, but today the BJP has given you a walkover. As far as this is concerned, this whole affair is well, concerned. Well, I I won't indulge into all that terminology of walkover and self goal and all that. But the fact of the matter <laughs> is that Prime Minister has been forthright enough. He's been courageous enough. And he's been magnanimous <coughs> enough to come out and say, yes, we made a mistake. I mean, this shows the, the, the intention of the government is not in the wrong direction. But yes, despite best of intent, <coughs> one could always make an error of judgment, error of decision. And this decision, if you go challenging such kind of decision, then it will become very difficult in our whole system. A, high, a, a, a trial court makes a decision, accu uh, I mean, exonerating an uh, accused or, or convicting him, and then the higher court then uh, reverses the judgment. <laughs> you don't put the trial court judge into 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 dock because he has exonerated or or he has made a wrong judgment. I mean, with the best of intentions, the judgments are made, but still there is a scope that the judgment could be found guilt uh, i mean uh, uh, could be found wrong at a later stage well absolutely but what is to be seen is whether the intention behind taking this decision was malafied or not absolutely there but is no malafied in this <coughs> decision making but still yes there was a judgment error there was a d error of decision making. Yeah, but but tonight of course that's interesting and and we accept that argument but tonight, really, if you were to draw a headline, the headline would be BJP is speaking in two voices. We don't know which voice is the voice is the true voice of the BJP on the subject. What a change of position in 24 hours. Satyavat Chaturvedi and Vinod Mehta, thanks for joining me on the news debate tonight. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs>